morning everybody. Um, how are we all this morning? Because, you know, turn this down a little bit. Um, it's Friday. I didn't vlog anything last Sunday, which was my other day off, because I was extremely hungover and vomiting all day. So uh, that was a bit of a problemo. But um, it's all right, it's Friday now. I am on my way to, this is not happening, on my way to the gym. I feel a little bit sick. I think I'm just really hungry or really tired, but it's 6.50 in the morning. I've been getting up early. I've been loving getting up early. It's been great. <sighs> but got, obviously, a coffee. Um, yeah, I'm just on my way to the gym and then I'm going out for breakfast with Dylan um, for his birthday because I just wanted to take him out for dinner or something for his birthday so we're going to breakfast and then I don't really have much planned for the rest of the day for the first time in a while. What was that? The weather is really nice so I'm hoping it stays this way and I can actually enjoy the weather on my day off. But yeah, that's all from me this morning. This is my natural hair, guys. I don't think you guys have ever seen my hair natural. But this is it. I look like a shaggy dog. Sometimes I like it, but the fringe is like the main issue here that we're having. But anyway, yeah. The phone line. What the fuck is that? It's my car mount. What is that? Money. What is that? Hi. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a really upset tummy, so I'm just literally lying out in the sun. Breakfast with Dylan was alright. Um, yeah. And now I'm just chilling at home because I literally feel so sick. So I will try to vlog, but. Good morning! Um, don't judge my hair. I'm gonna spill my coffee, but it's Tuesday morning and I'm just on my way to personal training. So, <sighs> I'll talk to you guys when I get there. <laughs> okay, here we go, Jen. Big breath. <laughs> Big breath doesn't mean anything on this. Don't know why I said that. That's it. Big jump. Two, nice. Three, good. So time the arm swing with it. Four, good, Jen. Last rep, rep number twenty. Good start. That's perfect. Two, three. Four, Jen. Five, six, nice work. Okay, ten, really hard, really hard. One, two, five, good. You got this, Jen. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, that was better than the last. All right, I just finished my PT session, which was really fun. I did a 27 inch box jump, woo! And I held um, 90 kilos, because I'm working on my grip strength, so I have to literally just do heavy bar holds where I pick up the bar and hold it for five seconds. So 90 bloody kilos in my little tiny hands, which is insane. Um, yeah, now I just need to go to Chatswood because I bought Lily a housewarming present and the dumb bitch already had it, so fuck you, Lily. Um, no, I'm kidding. But I have to go to Chatswood to return that, which gives me anxiety because I hate returning things. But then I might buy some more coffee from Nespresso. Um, and then I have to go pick up my laptop from work because I left it there, which is really fucking annoying. But I should have the rest of the day to kind of chill out um, and get some things done, like my washing and all that boring stuff. And then tomorrow, I'm hoping the weather's going to be better so I can lie in the sun. And then I'm getting my hair done. Um, but yeah, I might film later on, but I don't have any tan on, so... I don't know. We'll see. See how the day goes. My hair's a bit cooked though because I washed it last night, but anyway. Bye! 
By the way, I think I've mentioned these before, but I'm gonna mention them again because I'm obsessed with them. The Naturally Serious Cold Pressed Peel Pads. These are the best for using after the gym um, because they're an enzymatic exfoliant, so they're not too harsh on your skin like a normal like glycolic or something would be, but they're just gonna eat away at all the dead skin and all the gunk that's on your face, basically. Um, so, really good for after the gym, especially because um, we get sweaty and you don't want that to get blocked because then it creates blackheads. Um, but also I like to wipe my hands with them as well because gym equipment is disgusting. Think about how many people will touch that and all the dead skin and disgustingness. So I like to wipe over my face and then wipe down my hands and then sometimes I'll do my chest and back as well. Just to make sure I don't get any chest knee or back knee. Um, but yeah, shout out to these because I can't use glycolics because my skin's really sensitive. Um, so this being a natural pomegranate enzyme um, just helps to exfoliate really, really gently, which I think is amazing. I just conquered two of my irrational fears. Um, one is returning things. And the other one is going into an espresso shop because those places are literally so intimidating. Um, but I did it. Hey, I don't know if you guys can see me, but anyway. Um, why does it always sound like there's someone in my house? Anyway, I am starving, so I'm going to make some breakfast, even though it's 12.30, so it's more of a brunch. But I've been out and about all morning, went to the gym, went to Chatswood, went to the mall. Um, I've literally been everywhere. So I'm just going to make some classic halloumi bacon and avo on toast. My favorite breakfast in the whole world besides my strawberries. Um, and I'm going to make a shake as well. So I bought more flavors of the Keep It Clean Up Protein Powder. So I got salted caramel. And I also got chocolate. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the chocolate, but that's all right. I'm gonna try the salted caramel one. I still have a little bit of my vanilla left, um, but these were on special, so I just stocked up while I could. I actually do really love this protein powder. Um, so keen to try that. May as well show you what I got from Nespresso as well. So I just got another one of the Arpeggio, which is the purple one. And then the limited edition, Tribute to Trieste. I don't know, she said it was really nice and similar to the arpeggio. And then the other ones that I really like are the, car Ooh, the caramel ones. Um, that's just nice if you want something a little bit sweeter. And then the Skuro, which is really nice as well. A little bit lighter, this one. Not as the intensity is, I think, maybe like a five or something. Not sure what the intensity is, but those ones are really nice, but not as strong as the arpeggio. So... Yeah, coffee haul. Yeah, anyway, just thought I'd have a chat with you guys. I literally am feeling so good today. I um, have literally made a list of all my irrational fears and dumb things that give me anxiety. Um, so I made a list of them on my phone and I'm trying to, trying to kind of like conquer them one at a time just because Anxiety is really shit and I'm over it having to kind of rule over everything. Um, there was some, there was, I have this thing where I convince myself that everybody hates me. So I somehow managed to convince myself that Dylan hated me. <laughs> and um, if Dylan hated me, I think I would die. He's like one of the most important people in my life. So I like have been st stressed about that for like the past like two months. Anyway, we had a chat about it and he doesn't hate me, so it's fine. But I think that was like the cause of like a lot of other anxiety about other things. But um, yeah, I feel better now that that's sorted. So I'm just trying to like deal with like my other little fears. Um, and one of them is returning things in shops. Um, I don't even like returning things online, but going into a shop and having to return something, my God, is like the scariest thing ever. Um... But I did that this morning, so I'm really proud of myself. And then I also went into the Nespresso shop, which is something else that I find really intimidating because you have to go up and like, like talk to someone and talk about what coffee you want and then like order it. Like I wish I could just browse. That's really gross. Um, 
like browse and then just like pick my own coffee and then go up to the counter to buy it. I don't know, it's just a stupid thing that I find really like nerve wracking, but I did that this morning and I'm really proud of myself. So I'm just feeling really good today. Um, I was possibly going to film a makeup video, but I don't think I'm going to just because I don't have any tan on. I just find that nothing looks good when you don't have tan on. Um, but yeah, I don't really have much else planned for today. I need to do my washing and like all that boring stuff. Um, and then I have pull this afternoon. Um, if anyone follows Kathleen Lights, I like, really admire her. She's a really, 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 really anxious person. And the other day she mentioned that her favorite quote was the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And that was like, really resonated with me. So I was like, yeah, like I need to tackle things head on and just go into things with an open mind and stop being so like worried and anxious and stressed because it's like so draining. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling good today. It's probably because I've had three coffees, but, um, anyway. Flipping delicious. I have my shake. I've got my food. And then I also have some pieces of halloumi on the side with honey drizzled on them. Because if you not have, if you have not tried that, you need to do that ASAP, but yum. And of course, watching some Bella Fiori. Thank you. Trust that I have a white washing pile, a gray washing pile. My blacks are in there. And then of course I have a pink pile. <laughs> Uh, lol. But anyway, just wash some, put some washing out and put more on and I'm just gonna wash up my lunch stuff. Yeah. I literally have been the worst plant mom recently and I haven't watered my plants in about three weeks to be honest, but they're kind of like thriving without water like this one's growing so much so I think it just must, it must be the summer climate that's kind of coming this one's growing really well as well this one I just don't know what to do about my palm anymore he's just dying but I'm just gonna give them some water and put them out in the sun because the poor things are a bit thirsty cute so now I'm just gonna put some stuff in my my washing away from the other day and then um, someone just bought some of my Depop stuff, so I need to go and ship that. Which is really annoying. I wish i done that when I was out earlier. But anyway, I need to go and do that. Put this washing away. Yeah. Just ordering some lashes for this and out as well. I just thought I'd show you guys the ones that I order. Is there not another photo? Oh, well, they're called Frye and they are mink. $15. I bought two pairs. Um, and then obviously I use my, um, I like my own pair as well. The Genevieve's. Oh, they spelled wrong, but Genevieve. Um, but I already have a, a backup pair of them. So yeah, just thought I'd get some frayers for this now because they're a little bit more natural and I kind of want to go for like a natural look for this now. But anyway, I tried to make my Depop package look all cute and instead it kind of just looks like I wrapped up a dead chicken. But um, I mean, it's better than just getting clothes than a bag, so whatever. I thought that I would just come down to the water, do some meditation, do some journaling. Um, I'm a water sign Scorpio, so I always feel a lot better near water. So not that I was feeling bad, I've had a really good day, but I just thought I would come down, do some journaling, relax. That was so nice. Um, I didn't really spend a lot of time down there because like when the wind was blowing it is a little bit cold so it was just really nice in the sun. Um, but yeah the water was absolutely freezing and it wasn't really like because it's not really a beach there it's just more of like a bay so you can't just like run in and dive under the waves which I normally would do. So I just kind of literally went in the water, sat in the water, and then like just laid down for like two seconds and then got back up and got out because the water was freezing and I couldn't go the, be bothered to go all the way to the beach. Um, but yeah, I literally, I don't know, I just feel so zen today that I couldn't, like I don't feel any really strong emotions or I don't feel stressed at all. So I literally couldn't journal anything. I sat there and I was like, I have nothing to write because I just feel so zen today which is actually really nice because 
I never feel zen, let's be honest, but I don't feel tired, I don't feel sad, I don't feel stressed out, I just feel so calm. I feel very calm today and I, it's, it's nice, it's really nice to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I wasn't down there for very long, but now I think I'm just going to sit outside in the sun at home, get some more sun. It was just getting a little bit windy down there, which is why it was a little bit colder. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of, because when I, I've always loved creative writing. I've always been a very strong creative writer. Um, and it's, it used to be literally like I used to want to be an author, so it's always been something that I've loved. Um, and when I'm emotional, I'm very, very, very good at writing, but oh my god, my giraffe's in my way, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I just feel too calm and happy to write anything, which is kind of annoying, but I mean, I'm emotional 90% of the, the 90 Normally, I'm emotional, so it's kind of nice to have some little zen moments. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm rambling, but yeah. Alright, so I've just popped on a face mask, so I'm just using the Tama mask from Dr. Robux around here because I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a dermatitis eczema, eczema flare-up and I don't want to put anything else on there so just putting on that to kind of heal it and then on the rest of my face is the mask called Daintree which is an AHA mask so it's like a chemical exfoliant but more of a natural gentle one um so yeah the sun is so bright in my eyes right now but yeah I'm just gonna pop that on and I'm going to clean my makeup brushes so I'll show you how I do that put them in sunlight for them to dry because my bathroom keeps everything so damp but they're all clean these aren't all the brushes that I have these are just the brushes that I use um, although really on a day-to-day -day basis I only use about four brushes um, but yeah and all my little beauty blenders so having some strawberries except the strawberries I got were really gross so there's not many in there um, and some collagen and just editing a video that I really need to finish by tomorrow because I didn't upload a video yesterday. I put on another face mask because my skin is feeling so gross today so I just put on the Dr. Robux Icebergs mask, the hydrating one. I love Dr. Robux. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Just made butter chicken for dinner and I filmed it. Guys, I literally have just had, I hate saying guys, but I have just had the best day like I am feeling on top of the world right now and this does not happen to me ever like I just have had the best day and like I just finished pole and like I love it so flipping much and that week because last week I really struggled to do things um, because I don't even know why but last week I just really struggled with like all the tricks and stuff and this week I literally was like smashing everything I could do everything and it was so like I don't know I just feel like because I was in a positive mindset it just like I don't know I just felt so strong and like ew I sound like such a wanker but like oh my god I'm just really happy that I'm having a good day so you can't even probably see me but I'm just really happy that I'm having a good day because oh my god I just it's just a good feeling so I'm going to go to bed with the most positive mindset and I'm sure that I will feel the exact same way tomorrow and I'll have another great day and I am excited. So yeah, thank you so much. Oh guys, so I actually have a problem, but I just ordered more Zep stuff. So I ordered the overalls, I ordered the pink set as well. They're so cute. I know I have a Saski set like this, but I like Zep's pants better. I wanted to get this one, but like I really can't spend that much money. But maybe mum will buy it for me for an early birthday present. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I love her stuff so much. All I have to say, you guys, is thank God I'm getting my hair done today.
Just heading to the gym now. It's taken me so long to get um, like moving this morning. It's 9.30, but I slept until 8, which obviously I needed to sleep in. I was going to get up at 5.30, so obviously I needed to sleep in, but it's 9.30 now, so I'm going to head out to the gym. Just ordered more Zep stuff, which I'm too excited about. So yeah, I will try and film at the gym, but if people are there, I probably won't because Mona Vale is so intimidating. <laughs> Alrighty, so I just finished at the gym. My god, it is so hot. I'm not complaining because I love it, but bloody hell. Alright, yeah, so I've just been to the gym baru. Um, I am sore. My back and shoulders are like probably from pole as well, like my shoulders yesterday. I did shoulders yesterday morning at the gym, and then um, pole was really like a lot of shoulder strength so I'm feeling ripped <laughs> no I'm kidding um, but yeah I just went to Woolworths I bought some stuff to make for lunch oh I'm so stupid I forgot I had leftover butter chicken ah well anyway I bought some salad <laughs> okay sorry me again um, my car mount just fell off I don't know how stable it is now but I think it's because it's really hot, so it's probably like heating up and getting unsticky. But anyway, just went to Woolies, bought some lunch is what I was trying to say. I'm going to go home, have a shower. People are staring at me. Go home, have a shower. Um, maybe if I have time, make some quick food. And then I'm going to the hairdresser at 12.15. So it's now 11.07, so I probably won't have time to make something to eat, which is annoying because I'm starving. But anyway, I will see you when I'm at... The hairdresser! Just about to go and get my hair done, but how cute is this outfit? This is one of the tops from my Princess Polly haul. I'll make sure to link it below if you haven't already seen it. But so cute, so just like chill and like a bit edgy because my boobs are out, but I love it. Tee -hee. Look how much this little one is growing! Focus. Look, so many new leaves this one's just like chilling but I mean he grows very well I just really need to repot him and then this if anyone has any tips on how to keep a palm alive please message me because oh is that new I don't know but my palm's dying so and I don't know what to do anymore I just got about 15 minutes left to leave so I'm just gonna scuff down some strawberries and some uh, protein Alrighty guys, say goodbye to the regrowth and multicolored hair because I'm on my way to the hairdresser. Um, I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. I don't have any makeup on so I'll probably put some makeup on before I show you so it'll be like, whoa! Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. So going back to blonde and definitely chopping a lot off. So yeah, I can't wait. Just got back from the hairdresser, did some makeup because I wanted to take a nice photo to post but this is what my hair looks like, I'm literally obsessed. I It's a little bit shorter than what I thought but I'm actually obsessed. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm hoping my extreme makeover video will be up on Monday so that I don't um, 
ruin the surprise. But um, yeah, I just did some makeup. I'm literally about to take my makeup off because I need to film this part of my 24 hour transformation video and I don't want to have makeup on, but I am obsessed. You guys need to check out Hair by Lila or Lila. Um, if you live anywhere on the Northern beaches, she is amazing. Like the best of the best of the best. So yeah. All right, I'm just going out for dinner with my dad. This is my outfit. I literally look like Edna Mode. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's my outfit. We're just going for Thai, so. Dad is making me fill out a career survey to find out what I want to do. <laughs> so I washed my sheets today, and I swear. If there's two chores I hate the most, it's one, putting my sheets back on and making the bed, and two, unstacking the dishwasher. They're just the worst things to do. I just thought I would do my skincare routine with you guys, so I'm not gonna cleanse my face because I've literally already washed my face three times today and I don't want to strip it so I'm just going to use my Dr. Chart toner and then applying my Dr. Robux True Blue Hydrating Serum. This is literally the best thing ever. Then I'm going to apply my Indie Lee Squalane Oil which I've almost run out of. And then applying my Arcona Peptide Hydrating Complex. If you want to see my full skincare routine, I did do a video of it, but I might have to do an updated one because I've actually changed it since I filmed that. But if I did that, I'd just have to do an updated one like every two months. So who knows? Also, I'm just going to apply some eye cream, which is the Arcona IG Plus. And then I'm just going to spritz with my Dr. Robux Hydrating Mist. I just have a couple of random blackheads that I'm just going to pop a blemish lotion on. Alright, well that is my skincare routine for this week. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to sign this vlog off here. I am going to sleep. And yeah, I might vlog this in out. I probably won't, but we'll see how I feel in the morning. Um, my photo is doing really well. I just posted and it's got 146 lights in less than an hour. That's insane. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and what else do you do? Comment, press the notifications. I don't know. Whatever you do, you do you. But if you are new to this family, thank you so much. Um, make sure you do turn notifications on when you so you can see when I post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's only quarter past nine, and I'm literally exhausted. So good night, guys.